Hi everybody, my name's Steph um, and today I'm at my friend's house, Alan's here. Hi. And um, what we're going to be doing is just showing you Alan's beautiful collection. As you can see he's got a, a massive collection of fountain pens, vintage, new, etc. Um, but just briefly, before we show you the pens, Alan and, and myself, we actually met. Um, he actually used to buy pens off me from eBay. Uh, and what actually happened at one time, we were actually, actually at a car boot sale. And just out of the blue, we actually met each other, got chatting, and found out that he was buying pens from me, and we became friends, and now, well, we talk pens together, we collect pens. I do sometimes a little bit of work for Alan, but unfortunately, he's becoming a little bit accomplished himself with repairing pens. I think I've told him too many secrets, I think. So he's actually doing repair, repair work himself. Um, but yeah, what we do, we, we go to the... The pen shows together, don't we? Yeah. We went to uh, Lytham St. Anne's, we also went to the London mm -hmm. pen show, uh, which was a great, excellent. great day out. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was excellent. We saw a lot of friends that we know there, didn't we? Yeah. But uh, anyway, enough about us. Um, as I say, these are Alan's pen collection. Just tell us a little bit about your pens, Alan. Which, which ones did you start collecting, well, first of all? I started off collecting all the coloured ones, the marble That's, that's ones. all these here? Yeah. Yeah, the beautiful one. And then onto a few Parkers. 51s, I recognise these, yeah. yes. And then I, I settled down to collecting Tigers. Ah, and that's these uh, beauties here, yeah. isn't it? So do you actually collect more Tigers now? Or? As they come along, I'll buy them, yeah. Yeah, they're beautiful then. Yeah. I like the Tigers, I like the inlaid nib. Right, and also I've noticed you've got quite a few pens here, you've got 50, well, we'll show you them close by in a little, in a little moment, you've got, I noticed a few Mont Blancs at the, a few Mont Blancs at the front there. Yeah, some PFMs. PFMs, yeah, I've noticed the top. PFMs here, the Schaefer yeah. PMs, beautiful. Yeah. I mean, you've actually got an absolutely superb yeah. collection here, Alan, yeah. absolutely beautiful they are. That's an interesting little thing there, isn't it, the, the Mentmore. The old advertisement, shop advertisement. Is that what it seven is? Seven and sixpence. And how old is that, do you think? Sort of 1950s or something? I don't something? think so, yeah. 1950s, probably early 60s. That's great. Yeah. That's great. I'll tell you what we'll do at this point. Um, let's actually show the people at home. Let's let's get a bit of a close-up on the pen so they can actually see, a, well, a close-up, if you like, of these beautiful, beautiful pens. Okay, yeah. let's have a closer look at all these pens then. Right, I recognise the old um, Mont Blanc pens there. Oh, there's the, the old Behem. Blow my neck, Alan, you've got some beautiful pens here. So... I'm hoping you ladies and gentlemen can see all these pens nice and clearly, they're absolutely beautiful, nice and clean. Um, just out of interest, Stalin, which, do you actually have a, a daily carry pen? I do, yes. You do, do you? Me. So what, what's actually your daily carry pen? A daily carry pen is a Waterman Paris. Right. And for people that won't let you use a fountain pen, right. I have a Mont Blanc robot. Very nice, very and nice. Also, if I'm going out in the evening with my wife, I'll use a Tiger. A Tiger, very nice. So you've got, well, how many have you got there all together? Four. Four pens? Four pens that I... So it really depends on where you're going or going, whatever. What I'm doing. If it's something very important, I'll use the Mont Blanc as well. Very nice, very nice. Right, let's, let's just uh, carry on showing the ladies and gentlemen all these beautiful pens. I'm hoping you can all see this nice and clearly. There's absolutely too many pens here, I'm afraid to mention. I see there's some nice 51s in there. And if we come down to the end here, some beautiful, beautiful pens. Well, my neck, Alan. I didn't realise you actually had so many of these pens. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> Some tigers there. Let's have a little bit closer look at the tigers. Beautiful pens. And then if we pan over to the side here. Some beautiful pens in there. Oh, yes. Some lovely Schaefer pens. And these here are the first ones that you actually collected, did you first say? First ones I started with. Buying them off you and another gentleman on uh, the internet who's a bit of a dragon. <laughs> right, I know who you're talking about. Let me put you in a spot here, Alan. Uh, which are your favourites, or your favourite? Which is your favourite pen? The favourite pen, I would say, was the solid silver Schaefer Imperial. And that's that's this one here, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's very I nice. Really like that. 
That's a what? Sorry, a Schaefer. Imperial. An Imperial. And are there any other pens that you like? I like the PFMs. The PFMs, and that's the, yeah. the Schaefers in here? Yeah. Oh, I see you've got a nice grey one there. I have, yes. Right. And I do like the Plum 51. Last but not least, the Plum 51, which is which is that? That one there. Oh, that's the Plum with the, what, the gold filled cap as well, is it? it? Is, yeah. Beautiful pens, Alan. You're commended, lad. Superb, uh, superb collection. Thank you. Okay. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've all seen them pens, and I hope they're all quite clear to you. An absolutely stunning collection. So thanks for showing us, uh, showing us your pens, Alan. You're welcome. Okay. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this beautiful collection. Um, at this point, I'd just like to say thanks, Alan, for allowing us into your home. You're welcome and also for letting us have a look at this, well, an absolutely stunning collection. Um, and incidentally, it's nice that you've done it while uh, your partner's away. It is. Um, because Jackie, incidentally, um, tells me off because he's got the bug for collecting fountain pens. So It's your fault. Exactly. It's my fault, so we've had to wait until Jackie's gone, <laughs> gone shopping. So we need to finish here because if she comes back, she'll tell us both off. <laughs> anyway, Alan, thanks again for showing us the, uh, the collection. It's been, uh, it's been very enjoyable, and I hope you people at home have enjoyed looking at these pens too. So, for now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll just say bye now. Bye. <laughs>